I'm Keith Weed, and I'm a keen gardener. I'm also someone who really believes on the role that gardening has in our society and how important that is. And it's a great privilege and honour to be the new president of the Royal Horticultural Society. I'm looking forward to joining the RHS teams and learning more about the RHS, but importantly working with Sue and the rest of the charity in building the future going forward. Now during lockdown, there has been a whole new amount of people joining gardening and whether it be buying the first house plant or sowing a seed in a vegetable patch, it's incredible to see how many people have found uh, a passion in plants and a passion in gardening. And I very much want to encourage all those people uh, to join the RHS to learn more about plants, about more about gardening, because the more people that garden in the UK, uh, the better for all of us. Now, over the recent weeks, I've been going around uh, and meeting the teams in the gardens uh, and learning more about this wonderful charity and why it is so special, why it is so loved. I've also been asking questions about the challenges and the opportunities we have as well. Now, one area I'm particularly keen on is the area of sustainability, environmental and social sustainability, and the role that gardening has uh, within that. The UK has been a great innovator in garden design and all things gardening. And now it is our time to lead again. And I very much want you know, gardeners to join the, the green revolution that can put gardening and gardeners as part of the solution to some of the challenges we have right now in the whole climate change uh, crisis. Hello, Jason, really nice to meet you. Um, and although it seems a little bit bizarre at this distance, I'm sort of going around and, and meeting people and, and the first thing I ask everyone is, you know, you know, what's great about the RHS? You know, why, why are so many people excited about the RHS? I think as professional gardeners, we all appreciate the importance of gardening. But what's great about the RHS is that it wants to share that with people. Gardens are always there for us, but the RHS wants to make it available for people regardless of backgrounds and circumstances. So it's, ta it's taking basically gardening to, to everyone and making it more accessible. So what are you most excited about with your new role at the RHS? Well, the thing I'm really excited about is, is the magic and logic of gardening and it coming together. You know, the magic, the, the beauty of gardens. Here we are in, in the middle of Wisley, uh, the creativity, uh, the different rooms you can create, the different atmospheres you can create. But then the logic as well, um, the science, um, biodiversity, the challenges around sustainability, and who does it better than the RHS? Sorry to barge into your leisurely stroll down our mixed borders, but would I be able to introduce our new president, Keith Weed, to you? And Hi, Hi. it's lovely to meet you. Sorry we can't shake hands, <laughs> but we do. This is my first day as president uh, of the World Horticultural Society, and I hear that you've been here uh, a few times over the years. How long have you been coming here? I, we were just joking, there's a picture at home of my brother under one of the gunnery when he was two years old. Oh wow. Um, so 24 years. <laughs> This is day one for me, so um, but I suppose the things, the things I'm sort of interested in is diversity in its broader sense, so whether that be age or uh, from different backgrounds, uh, uh, ethnic, uh, etc. How do we get a, a greater connection with the community? So I think sort of outreach into communities. Because one thing I'm keen to do is actually to, uh, to reach out more into communities and get more people interested in gardening, etc. So, and if people come, um, you know, then, then they can see, well, this is an interesting thing and you know, they'd like to do, to do more of it. Over the months that follow, I'm going to be visiting the various gardens and talking to the RHS teams and also, of course, uh, speaking to more visitors and members. And what I'm really going to be interested to do is, is learn more about um, the, the Royal Horticultural Society from all the different angles with all its complexity um, and, and all its magic as well. But more of that another day. Um, I'm just so uh, excited about this role as it goes forward. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to combining my passion uh, for plants and gardens with my business experience to help shape the next chapter of the RHS.